Bienvenidas, bienvenidos al episodio 3 de Hora de Aventuras, Finn y Jake Investigadores. Si no recuerdo mal, en el episodio anterior, el episodio 2, iba sobre el Rey Hielo, sobre el PB, la princesa Bultos. Se había hecho con el, el trono del Rey Helado. Al parecer todo porque quería hacer real al príncipe Bultos de la historia inventada por el Rey Hielo. Se supone que el juego, al igual que los episodios estos, de que son cinco historias que tienen algo en común, de las dos historias que he jugado, y no sé si habréis visto, no encuentro ninguna similitud. A ver si la tercera nos dice algo más, porque la verdad es que las historias me tienen bastante perdida, porque son muy peculiares. Continuar. ¿Será esto las cinco cosas que tienen en común? Que es para hacer... Encontramos cinco objetos para, para hacer la, la reproductora esto de música. Vamos a ir directamente a, a ver el caso. New case. Everybody dance now. What the heck is that? Hey. Iniciar la investigación, sí. Oh. Bien, But first, we need to find a way to keep that music out of our brains. Do we have any earplugs? That music's in our brains, man, not our ears. What we need is psychic earplugs. Is that even a thing? No, but I have an idea. Remember that recipe for that killer seafood dish that Prismo gave us that time? Yeah, pickled sonic squid tentacles. Gave me weird psychic dreams for a week. Yeah, psychic dream. It affects your brain, dude. Better if we stuck a couple of those tentacles in our ears, it'd block out the head music. Oh, it's worth a try. We should have all the ingredients to cook up a batch. Guess we better get started. En serio, qué lógica es esa? Lógica de hora de aventuras. Sorry, Finn. Bimo cannot talk. Why in a tense mode? Bailan cuando se para. Vale. Pues nada, supongo que será ir abajo. Creo que estaba la cocina. Estará por aquí. Sonic Squid Tentacles. Six of them. Just what we needed. I knew we had some frozen Sonic Squid Tentacles. Only six left. It'll have to do. Vale, ya no se supone que esto hay que usarlo. ¿Cómo? Hmm. No. Hay que cocinarlos. Los tentáculos, supongo. The ingredients will just burn if we don't get some water first. This is never going to work unless we get some water in that pot. Agua, vale. Vamos a pillarla entonces. Eso es. Y para echarle agua al aseo. Done. One pot of water ready for boiling. Allá vamos. Y ahora. Six frozen sonic squid tentacles. They're the hero of the dish. One dash of PB's super spicy hot sauce. Oh, what the heck? A whole blorp? Ya está. Hace falta algo más. Why would I do that? <laughs> Yo qué sé. Vale. Pues no sé si tenemos que encontrar más cosas para ponerle aquí al poting este que estamos haciendo porque no me parece otra cosa que un poting. Aquí hay algo. Cristal psíquico. 
Ajá. Puede ser que fuera esto lo que nos faltaba. Vamos otra vez a la cocina. Pues con suerte lo tenemos ya todo. Me falta algo más. Me falta haber pillado algo en el servicio. Que lo he pasado por alto. Porque pensaba que no habría nada. Pero aquí esto es. Que no sé qué es. Vinagre. Hace falta vinagre. Ahí está. Plenty of vinegar. Nobody wants half pickled sonic squid tentacles. And voila! One batch of pickled sonic squid tentacles. All right. Nice. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Hey, Jake, it works. I can't hear the brain music anymore. That's awesome, dude. Um, how about handing me that other pair? Oh, yeah, sure. Phew, that is so much better. Now we can hear ourselves think, and we have an extra pair we can give to anybody we need to talk to. Where should we start? Let's talk to Marceline. She knows more about music than anybody we know. Come on, Jake. It's time to solve another mystery. Oh, man. <laughs> Just like we thought. That crazy brain music is affecting everybody. We're gonna have to talk to PB and Marceline one at a time. We only have one extra set of psychic earplugs. Well, let's get started. We need answers, Jake. Vale, hay que dar los tapones. Esto es un poco repugnante. <risa> hay que dar los, los tapones estos a cada persona con la que hablemos. ¿Qué pintas? Sí. Phew. Thanks, Ben. That's much better. Marceline, you know more about music than anybody we know. You gotta help us. Sure, I'll try. Hmm. So, what are you and PB up to? Well, we were jamming. Now we're dancing. Kind of obvious, Ben. Uh huh. Evidentemente. Where is this music coming from? I don't know, Finn. You heard it. it. Sounds like it's coming from inside your brain, but since everybody hears it, we're definitely not imagining it. Hmm. Have you ever heard anything like this before? No, but I studied magical music theory for a while at a decent school in the nightosphere. Only a magic instrument or a really powerful magic spell could make music that affects so many people at once. Magia, entonces. Jake and me are gonna do our best to find out who's doing this, but if we don't, is there anything we can do to maybe drown it out? Uh, I think so. I'm pretty sure a really powerful, sustained, atonal sound at the exact opposite harmonic frequency could be enough to disrupt the music. Um, huh? <laughs> a really awful noise that's the opposite of music would make the music go away. And I mean major bad. That would probably be worse than the music. I mean, at least we're dancing now. Who knows what effect the noise would have on us? Hmm. Okay. Thanks, Marceline. We'll figure something out. You might want to be quick about it. All this dancing's making me hungry, and you know how I am when I get hungry. Yeah. Me devuelven los tapones. I'm gonna need the earplugs back now, Marceline. Gracias. A ver. What are you doing? Do something to help us. Oh. Don't worry, PB. Jake and me are here to help. But we don't know where to start. I'll tell you whatever I can. Yeah. Is everybody at Ooh affected by this crazy music? As far as I can tell, yes. I managed to get a call through to Peppermint Butler. He said the whole Candy Kingdom is one big dance party. <gasps> well... Is it really so bad if people are dancing all the time? I mean, it is good exercise, and we might get used to the music. Yeah, claro. Yeah, Todos we could maybe just make the best of it for the all-time marathon dancing record. That would be awesome. No, Jake, it wouldn't. Everybody would eventually collapse from exhaustion. It has to be stopped. Quizá podríamos elaborar más tapones para oídos. Tienes el negocio hecho, fin. <laughs> What about making more psychic earplugs? They seem to work. 
There aren't enough sonic squid in all of Ooh to make that many pairs oh. of psychic earplugs. And even if there were, those things smell awful. Es por el olor, ¿verdad? Any idea where the music is coming from? When all of this first started, I managed to get a few readings before the dancing got intense. Something out in the hills to the south made my chromatometer go totally diatonic. Maybe you should go take a look out there. Mm -hmm. All right, princess. We'll head out to the hills and see what we can find. Thanks. Please hurry, guys. I'm afraid if we don't stop this soon, everyone in Ooh is going to dance themselves to death. Don't sweat it, PB. We'll get to the bottom of this. Vale, devuélveme los. Sorry, princess. I gotta take back the earplugs. Vale, creo que ya está. Ya tenemos la información que buscábamos para continuar la aventura. Y creo que no es necesario más. Qué feliz que es. Dance, miniature candy man, dance. Please, make it stop. Será este. Magic man, we should have known you were behind this. Yeah, you'd think I'd kind of be your first guess at this point when stuff like this happens. Sí. ¿Por qué estás haciendo? Why are you doing this, magic man? Because I'm magic man and I'm a jerk. Seriously though, people like to dance. I'm just giving the people what they want. Did you actually ask them if they wanted it? What? And ruin the surprise? Estás lastimando a la Can't you see that you're hurting people? They can't dance forever. Well, I see it as helping people. Helping people realize what a jerk I am. I think it might be working. I think everybody already knows what a jerk you are, Magic Man. Well, it never hurts to be sure. En serio, no tiene ni pies ni cabeza. You're always doing jerky stuff like this. Don't you have anything better to do? Oh, let me think. Nope, my schedule's pretty much wide open. Magic man, come on! You've got to stop this! Stop it? Why would I do that? If I do that, things would probably get worse. If you won't stop this, we're gonna make you stop! Oh, you guys are just adorable! Make me stop, please! Anyway, I'm telling you, if you think people are unhappy now, you won't believe how unhappy they'll be if the music stops. But I can see you don't believe me. Tell you what, I'll prove it to you. Try to keep up. You know, I really don't like that guy. Yeah, <laughs> well, I guess we better follow him. But somehow, I don't think he's gonna make it very easy. Neras? Hora de pelear. ¿Qué es para tengo? No me acuerdo. ¡Ah, oh, no! Pero eso este es chulo. Ostras, tío, me están haciendo daño. Voy a probar la espada esta. Eh. Ah, ya está. Es una de todo. ¿Y qué le ha hecho? No entiendo qué le ha hecho. ¿Se ya acabó con ella ya o no? Ahora sí. Looks like we got him, Jake. Yeah, but I bet we could do better and get more treasure. It's up to you, though. Nah. No me interesan los tesoros. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. 
vamos a dar una vuelta por todo. Así que el hombre mágico no tiene otra cosa que hacer. Y se aburre y nos meten estos follanos. Sticking my hand in a beehive would not be one of my better ideas. No, pero bueno. A hammer. Weird. I've never heard of a hammer well. Most of them just have water. Esta tiene martillos. I suppose I can always use a hammer. Again. Seguro que me dejo algo. ¿El martillo? Será una locura. That's kind of dangerous. Sí. Vamos a esperar a tener más cosas. ¡Hey! Magic Man. Oh, hey, you're here just in time. See this candy guy. Yeah, he looks miserable. Boom, but if I change things, he could be more miserable. See, much worse. Follow me whenever you can. This is fun. He's right. This is worse. Help! Uh, come on, Jake. Let's get that candy guy down. We gotta lower him onto something stable so we can get out. <laughs> Pero por qué la ha puesto ahí? No entiendo. Espérate, vuelve. Lo ha puesto aquí arriba. Pero sigue bailando. Entiendo, tío. ¿Qué hay que hacer aquí? Poner el volante, supongo. There, that wheel should work just as well as a crank. We should really fix the mine shaft cover before we try lowering the mine cart. Ah, vale, hay que arreglarlo con el martillo. There, that should be stable enough to hold the mine cart. We can try lowering it now. <laughs> All right, candy guy, let's get you down from there. Oh, thanks, thanks. Oh, no! Help! Me ha servido de nada. Went south pretty fast. Yeah, but it sounds like the mine door is open now, so that's good. Mathematical, sweet. ¿Qué? Era eso lo que había que hacer, pero para eso no podía haber roto antes. Pobre, pobre dulce. Entonces tenemos que bajar por aquí, supongo. Antes vamos a mirar. ¿Eh? No problem, Candy Dude. Ah, era eso, ya está. Ah, vale, porque estaba en la parte de arriba. Que ha bajado por ahí. Y ya... Ah, vale, ha abierto la puerta por aquí. Vaya lío este, tío. No, no había entendido lo que había pasado. Y aquí tenemos... Un bode vacío. Vale, frasco yo. Y vamos a ir por este otro lado que no me ha dado tiempo ni a ir porque... Porque no se puede. Vale, es una mentira. Entonces nada, vámonos. Espera, de ver si esto... Good way to get a jar full of honey and about a million bee stings. Mm. No. Pues nos vamos por aquí. Ey, Trumpy. Tree trunks. What are you doing way out here? Oh, Finn, I was just having a nice picnic with Mr. Pig, but he forgot the ice cream to go with the apple pie. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Yeah. Then this crazy music got in my head, and I just started dancing and dancing. Yeah, me and Jake are trying to fix that. Did you happen to see... Magic Man! Yeah, him. Still keeping up, good. But I can see you're still not convinced that there are worse things than dancing. A picnic claro que hay cosas peores que el baile, pero. But I'm happy to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> Qué chulo. 
But even worse is a picnic with fire ants. Oh, now you just hold on, you magic jerk. All showing up uninvited and bringing ants to a, a picnic? Magic jerk, yeah, the weird little elephant gets it. And you will too, soon. Don't give up, you're almost there. That guy really needs a hobby. I think this is his hobby. Ugh, come on, guess we're gonna have to deal with those fire ants. Es verdad, habrá que encontrarle un hobby que no sea meterse con la gente, tío. Esto, vale, habrá que traer miel aquí. Ya. Oh, Finn, Jay, you have to get rid of these horrible fire ants. Ya. ¿Y tú qué haces aquí? ¿Qué haces aquí? ¿Qué haces Ay, pobre. No se le ha cogido cariño o algo. Don't touch him, Finn. Fire ants fight. No puedo pasar porque están las hormigas de fuego. ¿Cómo se corría? No me acuerdo. Ah, vale. Bueno, tenemos que hacer algo con el panal este, segurísimo. Y recuerdo que tenía aquí la flor, que a lo mejor me sirve. I'd rethink that, Finn. No, no. El ingrediente clave para cualquier poción de curación. Y Jake podrá cogerlo. La otra vez lo pillo Jake. No way, dude. I'm done messing with any more beehives. When I grabbed that one in the Candy Kingdom, the bees tried to pollinate my face. Vale. Gracias por la aclaración, Jake. Era lo que me preguntaba. Voy a mirar aquí por si me dejo. Eh, hey, aquí hay algo. Quit playing in the dirt and focus, Finn. Ah, mira. Uh -huh. A ver si les gusta el girasol. The sunflower would definitely distract the bees. I don't want them following me. Entiendo. Entonces hay que ponerlo aquí. That'll work. The bees are already heading toward it. The nest should be safe for honey gathering. Y ahora aquí. There we go. One jar of honey. Esto era lo que había que hacer. Y ahora... Para que las amigas vengan aquí, bien. Good idea, dude. All that honey is luring them back to their nest. Algebraic. Awesome. Bien. Thank you, Finn and Jake. Pobre caramelito este. Thanks again, Finn and Jake. No offense, but... Hey, I give it to Just in time for another lesson. Come on, man. Another thing that could be worse than dancing constantly. <laughs> being trapped in a hedge. Ah, uh, not again. Why me? Well, I guess it could be worse. <gasps> a hedge made of poison ivy. No, it's worse. <sighs> Don't let a little rescue mission stop you. You might still be able to catch me. Darn you, magic man! Guys! A little... Ah, help here! Madre mía. Vale. ¿Cómo podemos quitar esto? Finn! Jake! You guys gotta get me out of here! No tenemos unas tijeras de podar o algo así. We can't leave until we rescue that poor candy guy. Vale, vale. Voy a buscar cosas, evidentemente. Tendrá que ver con este hombre. Can't talk. Dancing. Thanks. That crazy music was interfering with my potion making biz. We're actually glad to see you, Forest Wizard. We're trying to fix this dancing thing, but Magic Man keeps messing with us. Hey, you stopped me from dancing. At least for now. I totally owe you one. I'll help in any way I can. Muy bien. Una dulce persona. Es Magic Man has trapped a candy person in a big wall of poison ivy. That's very uncool. You can't just pull him out. He'd still be all itchy. 
What are you doing out here? Hmm. I wanted to get outside and get some fresh air. Unfortunately, I have really sensitive skin. So I'm brewing up some sunscreen potion in my magical distiller. Potions explode sometimes, so it's best to do this stuff away from other people. Do you have any spells that can cure poison ivy itch? No. Skin problems are more of a potion thing. Mm, can you make a potion that will cure the candy person's itchy so we can get him out of the hedge? That would take a while to brew from scratch. Hmm. Wait! My sunscreen potion is the same basic formula. It's just missing one key ingredient. Yes, it was. What ingredients do we need? Well, really, the most important thing is witch hazel. That stuff cures just about anything. Okay, what do we need to do? If you add some witch hazel to the sunscreen potion, it will make a perfect cure for poison ivy itchies. Or it'll blow up, or both. It's hard to tell. Sometimes wizard science is more art than science. Cool. Thanks, Forest Wizard. Thank you.